first around. Do you want to do the honors or shall I? Do uh, it? You, uh, take it away. All right, Very cool. Impressive. So here we go. Inferno. Obviously, it's gone under a lot of changes since uh, CS Source and 1.6, but uh, players have adapted to them. The, the the map has become ever so slightly more terrorist sided, and we're starting to see the pistol around on Inferno get won by the terrorists a lot more often. And let's see whether the Spaniards can do this. They've left the decoy in two steps. Lowey pushing up mid. MSL is being pushed at Nana as well. It's Glocks versus a USP. Kyrie being left. He's going to throw that nade and he's going to land right next to MSL. But only does 22 points of damage to him. And let's go over to the other bomb site. We've got Hunden, or Nikolai, as he seems to want to call himself at the moment. Just preparing for any potential Spanish attack on this larger A bomb site. Where are they going to go? The mass majority of them are actually heading towards A and they're actually heading towards uh, Nikolai, but here we go, Tenski and Musambani meet. That's going to be the first casualty of the game, in fact, onto Tenski as over gaming slowly proceed towards this large array bomb site. Lowell nails Kev in the head. Nikolai is going to go down, and over gaming Hoss, they're making it look easy. It's five yeah, versus two. It looks like they're on maybe a little bit of adrenaline rush. Wow. Uh, adrenaline rush after the last game. Um, they did, of course, lose it, but they ended it really strong. It seems mm -hmm. like that's carrying over. You can argue that the, the, they're coming out fresh out of a decent performance up against Mouse Sports. Um, yeah. So, you know, they're nice and hot and ready to go, whilst apparently Reason didn't do too well. But fingers crossed Reason managed to turn it around, because they do have the good old CZs in hand, and they are on the more fa slightly more favoured CT side. Yeah, some, some teams or players take a while to warm up, maybe one or two games, and others just go straight into their stride, like Overgaming have... And hopefully Reason come out a little Give us a good game to watch here on Inferno. For the uh, newly updated Inferno with some nice visual upgrades. Um, and Musan Bani is going to come into this uh, A site that was. Get the pistol kill. And Neil is getting dropped That's with an aggressive push from Kyrie there. Kyrie will get dropped by the CZ. But Maison's having none of that and gets the return frag onto Tenski. All down to Nikolai here. Uh, he is one versus four. He's going to have to do something extremely special. 22 bullets left. And that certainly isn't special. He'll get dropped as he en uh, exits the library by flipping. A really nice anti eco there from Overgaming. They got, I think they lost one member, got the bomb down. What more do they want there? 2 0. Yeah, unfortunate. But then again, let's bear in mind that Reason Gaming are a new lineup. Obviously, I think yeah. it was MSL and Nilla who. Were the players who survived, should we say, from the previous lineup? Tensky, Nikolai, and Kevin—they're the new players, and they've only been together for about a week. I think that was when the HL TV post was. So you can't expect a team like Reason Gaming in their current state to really overcome Over Gaming, who used to go, used to play under the name of Wizards, who have years and years of experience as a team under their belts. But let's see whether they're going to get this third round. MSL says yes. I want to turn it around in our favor. Tenski getting on the score sheet as well as we see the pistols reign supreme over the Galils and AK-47s. We've got three CTs on the B bomb site. Where amazing Carey and Lowell going to take the bomb. They're going to actually head over to the A bomb site where Tenski and MSL are patiently waiting for them. They do, of course, only have pistols, the CTs. So if Overgaming were to speed this up, they might just might be able to catch Reason Gaming off guard. And the thing about Reason Gaming, they pushed Kevin down Banana, and they've guessed that, hang on a second, no one's actually Nana. So they must be either heading towards Arch to B, or through Apps and mid to A. And now Overgaming, they're going to find themselves surrounded. And you know what, Hoss? We spent so long badmouthing Reason, and they've just won an eco round. So fair play to them. Yeah, um... They only lost one member as well there, and that was right at the end, so really strong. They picked up some uh, AKs and Galils as well, so they don't have to purchase any guns this round, so... They're going to be on quite a high amount for the next round or two. Overgaming can, of course, still buy. They had two rounds in the bag. Bomb down on both as well. They can still get all their Kalashnikovs, as you call them. Uh, Kev going for the AWP this round, that could be a bit risky, but it could work out. I mean, he's now down to almost nothingness in terms of money. Looks like Overgaming are going towards this A site here, or at least toying with the idea. Oh, he's just, 
peeking down banana, not finding anything just yet. There is a reason player. There's now Nilla's going to join him, and in fact they're going to back off. They hear some footsteps, they hear a few gunshots, they don't want any of it just yet. In fact it's MSL. He sees the uh, Molotov come over, the smoke goes out as well. Pretty defensive play from both teams here, and we're seeing this again. Overgaming, leaving it till about 40 seconds left until they decide to make a move. He did it on Mirage, and it kind of worked, I guess, to start off with. We're seeing it again here, there's 30 seconds left as three players make their way up to A. Nilla gets dropped on Banana, and I'm surprised that they still want to take this bomb down there as MSO drops Lowy, who was the bomb carrier. But Musambani is going to come back in strong and get the return kill onto MSO. It's two versus four now. Maison and Musambani left. Well, now it's just Maison left as he comes back round from CT, gets the headshot onto Nilla. He's going to come across two players here. The flash goes out. He gets the Ooh. headshot onto Tensky. There's only five seconds left. He won't be able to do much here. Get a kill maybe, but he'll just be happy he saves the AK here. It was an okay round for Overgaming. They would have liked to win it. Mm. But based on the previous performance of the Eco from Reason, they'll take it, I guess. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, and because uh, Reason managed to win the previous round, finally, it's going to force Overgaming into an eco. Surprising that the Reason Gaming plays didn't actually try and hunt down Maison to try and prevent him from saving the AK-47. But hey, if you're an Overgaming fan, if you're from Spain in the chat, all out to you and you'll be happy to know that Maison managed to save an AK. So let's see whether he can put it to good use and hopefully not lose it early on in the round. He's pushing towards B. Peeking at quad, MSL's going to be the Dane to try and hold Banana all by himself whilst Nilla plays on the quick rotation. But hello, they're all going to run towards Kevin. Kevin missing a crucial shot as they all stampede towards him. They're all going round Arch. Kevin finally gets a shot. Uh, Nikolai's trying to join in on the action. He's seen the bomb go down. And now Reason Gaming are going to start rotating. And this is beautiful from Reason Gaming. They look good. They look very good so far on the more favoured CT side. But is Lowell going to put an end to that? It's the double from Lowell. And with Nikolai only on seven points of health, this just just might be doable for the team from Spain. They've got the bomb. Lowell's going back down Nana. Look where Kyrie is. He's on Nana as well. And they're going to push straight to B. And Hoss, they might be able to get the plan. Oh, one dig from Kyrie. Great and shot. this is terrific from Over Gaming. It's two versus two. Kyrie's picked up an unsilenced M4. And maybe, just maybe, the Spaniards might pull this off. Two versus two. The bomb's down on the smaller B bomb site. Terrific fake from over gaming and terrific thinking from Kairi. Lowy's playing close. He might want to pick the weapon up. Tenski coming from CT spawn whilst Nikolai comes from Banana. Lowy is using himself as bait. The smokes come over. It's Kairi and Lowy versus the two Danes. Who's going to win this battle of wits here on the B bomb site? Oh, that's a lovely edge up from Kairi. It's not a fake defuse. You know what they say? Pros don't fake. And Tenski goes down and over gaming out of nowhere. Managed to win an eco round. Yeah, that was a great. Great play from them, especially on the eco. I mean, Maison did have the AK that he saved from the round before, but the rest of his team coming in big as well. After picking up some guns after getting some kills, and it managed to carry them through. They got the plant on B, held the site really well. Put uh, a reason player on their rotation with the brilliant one deke, and here we go. Double flash down, but not MSL is going to go in with Famas, get dropped straight away, but nil as Famas will connect with two players, but he'll get dropped after, so it's two for two after the aggressive push from Reason. Eva will rotate towards this B site. Will join his teammate Nikolai as the Spaniards push in. Maison has the bomb. He's going to plant on top of Barbecue here. It's Lowy and Flippin. Are going to be defending from elsewhere. Flippin on Banana. Maui's back left of sight. Maison's back right. So they're high. They're holding tight positions here. It's going to be hard for Reason to come in and take this site. Kiwi has a feeling he knows where Lowy is. He's checking all corners. But Flippin's going to come in and drop Tenski. Kiev will drop Lowy. And it's all down to Maison now. It's one versus one. Nikolai versus Maison. And Maison comes out on top there. He held that site really well. Hopefully he saves his AK. Yep, there we go. 4 2 to overcame in and a great defense there. I think we were casting, I think it was Mouse Sports on Inferno the other day, and you told me that. Uh, which I agree with that ideal
so early on. They've got yeah. four already to their name, and they forced Reason onto onto yet another eco. So Reason Gaming managed to win an eco early on, I believe. But it's going to take something special to really try and defeat the AK this time round. Musambani has gone from the sh for the shotgun because he is, of course, over gaming's main orper, and he's probably a bit sick and tired of using the AK and wants to save up for an orc. So let's see if it's uh, going to pay off for them. Hello, MSL pushes out. It's going to be Musambani and his shotgun to go down. And good thinking from over gaming. They thought, right, if uh, if a player is going to go down, if a player is going to be up close and personal, it's going to be the player with the cheaper gun. As Lowell gets the return frag, it's going to be Neela to push Nana next. Lowell drops him, leaving it four versus three. And Reason Gaming are in trouble. They're all going to scurry down to the bottom of a banana as over gaming push... Well, they're taking their time to push into the B-bomb site. And our Reason Gaming making enough noise to divert attention from over gaming. It's going to be Nikolai to get one. Kyrie gets two before going down to Tenski's USP. And now that the bomb's been dropped, the ball is in Tenski's court. But he's lacking a lot of firepower at the moment. And the Spaniards just about win their fifth round. Yep. And right now they are on course to take this game here. As you were saying, five to six rounds is usually what you aim for. Hmm. And something that we've seen happen quite a bit is uh, the T's winning the pistol on Inferno, which is exactly what Overgaming did. They didn't get all three rounds that they wanted from it, but they... And here we are now at 5-2 to the Spaniards. It is a slightly CT-sided map, and I'd like to think that Reason maybe prove their defense of the two sites. B has certainly seemed like a weak point for them. They were too aggressive down banana, I may say, or just later rotations coming in. MSL is defending this uh, banana area by throwing some smokes out, but of course we all know that the overgaming players are towards this A site. So MSL is looking to maybe push down banana and catch any, any stragglers out by surprise. And there is one straggler in the form of Kyrie who's still toying with the idea of maybe making some noise at Banana. Flash goes out. Not going to see anything. Ah, there we go. He sees Kyrie, but he's going to fall back straight away. He thinks that there may be a push imminent down Banana, but smokes are going over towards Arch side, followed by a grenade or a flash, I believe that was, from Lowey. Lensky sat in a great position here. Nil is fully smoked out, so he's going to have to go back to the site along with Nikolai, and Nilla will get dropped, but Nikolai's having none of it, Maison goes down, it's 4 versus 4 now, as Kyrie comes into this site, he'll get the frag onto Nikolai, and there we go, Flippin comes out, I was going to say Tenski's still on balcony, he was a little bit around the corner, wasn't able to get the kill first, 4 versus 2, Obergaming not looking the best for health however, and Nick, uh, MSL enters the site, but trades 1 for 1, it's all down to Kiev, he comes from quad side, he'll get one, 1 versus 2, Flippin's on 44, Lowey's on 78. Flippin's positioned in a great place, nice turn there from the flash. But Kiva's just going to save this M4. Doesn't fancy, he doesn't have enough time left. It's going to be 6 2, Spanish team of overgaming. And it might be about reason gaming, they're not, they can't really compete right now with their constant roster swaps. Yeah, they need, they need. A few weeks, a few, a few months, yeah. even to really gel together, because solidify it. Yeah, exactly. Because honestly, I mean, overgaming used to go under names of, uh, under the name the name of uh, Wizards, and they've got so many matches under their belt up against NIP and you know all them big names. Yeah. And honestly, all that helps so much. And up against Reason Gaming, they've failed to deliver, but I don't think they'll be too downhearted if they end up losing this. They know that they've only been together a week. They know that it won't be the end of the world at all. But anyways, Kyrie looking towards the floor. He's going to spot MSL, and he's going to take the trash out as well. He knows that there's probably one more CT in that B-bomb site. Of course, after seeing the nade come out, but Neil has been quite aggressive. And you do have to question that from him. I'm definitely questioning it, especially when he knows there's a smoke there. And are they going to make him pay the price? Kev has now decided to rotate over to the smaller B bomb site, leaving two CTs on the larger A bomb site. Nikolai on Arch and Tenski inside a pit. So, here we go. Bombs on Lowy or Lowell. And Musambani is going to join in with his Spanish teammates at Banana. Kev spots uh, Musambani. Was that. Is that, no, it's flipping, dearie me. I think he's Musambani. Molotov goes out onto Arch. Are we going to have. 
burn CTs tonight. We are. We're going to have a few dead ones as well. They're going to scurry straight into this B bomb site. They allow Kev to come in. Oh no, no, what was he doing? Oh, I could see what he was trying to do, but. Yep. It made me cringe just to see it, and now unfortunately Tenski, between a rock and a very hard place, he's, he's going to take something very special for him to pull it off, and I really am starting to fear for reason. I really am. Yeah, that was just a sloppy move there by Kev. Just rushed through smoke into a site full of five Ts. Some may say brave, some may say a little bit idiotic, I I <laughs> idiotic but hey, he tried it, he failed, and it was all down to his... Danish teammate, um, got one frag from it, but that was all he was going to get, as reason to force back onto another eco. Right now, looking at this, you've got to think that Overgaming won't let reason get one, maybe even two more rounds at best this half. If Overgaming go into the second half like this as well, on a stronger CT side, all it's going to take for them is a pistol and then a few rounds after to take this match here. Oof. MSL's going to open things up with the 1D, I believe that was, onto Kyrie as he peeked around Banana, but it's now 4 versus 4. As Overgaming make their way down Banana, they know that it's only MSL that's there, and they know that he only has a Deagle. He gets tagged down to exactly half health. We'll fall back to the site. Waiting patiently behind Fountain. Sees the smoke go out, so that's CT blocked off. Right now, you got to be calling to your teammates saying they're here, but. Rotation came in a little bit slower than maybe expected, but Musambani is going to catch one member out on the bottom of Banana. It was Nilla, and they'll get that frag. The, four, the last two remaining members are coming from CT and Gardens. I don't know what Nikolai was doing that far on site there, but again, it just seemed sloppy. Walked through smoke into this B site. It's easy to pick players out on it, a lot harder than the A site, and he just got punished for it again. Just disappointing play here for reason. Yeah, and just, you know, to remind people, I know there's a lot of people with the reason Mouse Sports game in mind. Mouse Sports beat over gaming a few minutes, well, not a few minutes, a few... 16-11. Yeah, an hour or so ago. 16-11 was the score. So all I'm going to say is, in my opinion, if over gaming can't beat Mouse Sports, and over gaming beat reason, I think it'll take very, very special for reason potentially beat Mouse Sports. But anyways, here yeah. we go. Reason Gaming losing a man so early on their buy round and it's really not going to help them as uh, Over Gaming set up for what could be some sort of take onto the A bomb site. We're seeing MSL now push to the bomb of Banana, which is something I like to see, which has allowed Reason Gaming to rotate the extra man in Kev over to the larger A bomb site. Maybe that extra man might end up being the difference for Reason Gaming's defense of the A bomb site. Who knows? It will be four versus three if all of Over Gaming end up pushing through. That's going to be the smoke and the pop flash is coming out. And here we go, Geronimo. Where are they going? It's going to be Kyrie and Lowey to go towards Arch. Neela gets one. He's going to be looking for the second. He can't get it. Mason pushes round the corner, and this is good from Over Gaming. It's Nikolai and MSL, last men standing for the CTs. And now I want Nikolai to wait for MSL to make his way there. I want, their, I want them to make their move together. They're, 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 team. they're a team. I don't want them to push in one by one. Now MSL will call to his teammate and the push begins. They they didn't catch a glimpse of MSL, but hello, look who it is. It's Flippin who drops um, Nikolai. MSL, one versus two. Is he going to be it? No, he's not going to be able to do it. And for a second there, I thought Musambani wasn't going to get the kill. But over gaming, they've got nine rounds and unless Reason managed to pull off a Hellraisers versus Nip, which some people might remember from a few months back. I honestly think it's good night Vienna for a reason, or good night Copenhagen in their, in their case. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking the best for them right now. Seven round deficit on a CT sided map. Right now their head is going to be so low, probably on top of their desk right now for most of their members, thinking what can we do? Pull this one back. The answer, most next to nothing, I, th I feel. Uh, being forced onto FAMAS is, I mean, it would maybe be okay if they were T side and had lost this many rounds because they could then buy actual Galils and AKs and fly pretty comfortably because they're on the more expensive CT side. It's a lot harder for them to fly. The double nade going to just literally tickle MSL. He'll lose one of one armor there. As Musambani pushes up, gets tucked down by some spray through smoke.
Along with Kyrie there, they lose about 70 health combined. Gonna be pushing up Banana a little bit, along with two other members. Mazon and Lowey who's joined them there. While flipping makes some noise in apps. So Temski drops flipping in apps. And elsewhere, Nilla drops Kyrie. MSL comes around, he'll get dropped unfortunately. But not uh, not before picking up the kill on the loud. It's Mazon and Musambani left. They're two versus three. They'll probably smoke off CT here. Yep, that is CT smoked off. Keeps gonna spray through, not find anything just yet. So they're forced round into construction and then round into gardens. There is, uh, I believe that's Tenski. Yep, Tenski's coming round from Banana. Nikolai still happy to spray through. Keeve getting one, Keeve getting two. And that's gonna be a round for Reason. And <laughs> it's a much needed round for them as well. Like to th if you're a Reason fan, you'd like to think they can end this strong by maybe getting four or five rounds, but personally, I reckon three will be their limit here. Yeah, well, let's see whether your prediction <laughs> ends up becoming a reality over gaming with plenty of money. They can still buy. I don't really think. Well, actually, we might see them fit in one more eco as it stands. It's, this is a big if. If. Yeah. End up losing another round, but here we go. Nila and MSL have picked up the all-powerful AKs for them on the CT side. So let's hope uh, that little, little potential damage pays off for them. MSL and Nila, there they are. Actually, the two players with AKs pushed all the way down from the bottom of Banana. They're trying to shoot through smoke, but unfortunately, no one's waiting for them. Nila's going to go back and rotate round to A. So we're seeing something similar from reason to what we saw last time round. But let's bear in mind that. It went in favour of overgaming, not the previous round, the round before the previous round, if that makes any sense. But anyways, here we go, two more rounds until the end of this first half. Overgaming, I'm sure enjoying themselves, it's pretty much shooting practice, well it's been shooting practice for them so far. But let's hope Reason can pull their fingers out, they are a new team of course, they're using Molotovs well, are overgaming and they've... Not only burnt the CTs down to the ground, but they've sent them back to CT spawn as well with those kills. And, well, the CTs are outnumbered, but is Tenski going to put an end to that? He is. Gets the double. Three versus three now, and it's anybody's round. Can Reason maybe, just maybe, prove Hoss wrong and get a fourth round on the board? Maybe if MSL stops playing around with chickens, they might be able to. Tenski is on a hat trick now. He's going to be hungry for his fourth. Gets four. Now he'll want the ace. MSL comes around the corner and finishes off Mason. And Hoss, you've been proven wrong, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Reason probably heard me and were like, not really a fan of this Hoss fella. We're going to prove him wrong. And uh, prove me wrong, they did. They got four rounds here. Um, Overgaming can still buy here, however. So they're on AKs and one glow in there with four nades each. So they're still pretty healthy for the cash. They lose this one. Uh, they can probably still buy. Uh, maybe a little bit forced, but they'll still be able to do it. Maybe playing a little bit more passive this time round. Be a little bit more like they did on Mirage. Hold things out a little. Because so far in this game we've seen them more or less take control of this B site. Whenever they've got B, they've got the early frag, they've pushed into the site and they've defended it really well. And it was usually quite quick. Here, there's still a minute left and they have yet to make a move or pick up a frag. The only action that's happened is Kyrie's lost just about a third of his health. In Flash is going to apps here. Tenski is waiting patiently, but not going to find anyone just yet. As they've all up. In fact, they're going for a split. Three arch, two quad. Tenski is here and waiting. So is Nikolai. He gets one, but Lowey will drop him. Tenski gets dropped as flipping comes around quad side. Now it's three versus three. Lowey making it three versus two. For him and flipping aren't too good for health. And it's the two low health players. They get the bomb down, so they have some money to still buy next round. So they can more or less fall by even if they lose this. Lowey and flipping left. 75 HP between the two of them. Nil is low. MSL is on full. Sitting on this site, just defending it as much as they can. Flipping does have a smoke that he can throw out if wanted. He'll spot one member and come out. He'll miss the first few, but he'll return the kill onto MSL. And flipping finishes things off onto Nilla. Taking it to 10-4, going into the last round of the half. And it's going to be a force buy for some members of Reason here. It is, and... Last round, they pretty much have to do it, but honestly, they need the CS gods on their side to win this round up against AKs. 
and let's see whether they can do it because especially after after Ogre Games on the CT side and we start seeing Musambani with that AWP I want to say is God help read the game and they are going to stampede up towards the top of Banana Lowy or Lowell or whatever you want to call him gets the first casualty gets first blood onto MSL and let's see whether the Spaniards can build on it Kev with the 5-7 down goes Tenski, flipping gets two, flipping gets three, no he doesn't! <laughs> we were talking about that 5-7, pays off for Kev, but they uh, still find themselves outnumbered through the Danish team, and 4 versus 1 is going to take some phenomenal out of this world orping for Nila to try and retrieve this round and add it to the Reason Gaming Bank, but you know what, Nila, he's been around for a long time, we know he's a quality player, and let's see whether he can do it. He knows it's the last round, he knows there's no point in trying to save the big green gun, and he's slowly making his way down the bottom of Banana. He's uh, got his knife out and running towards Quad by the looks of things. Come on, Miller. You can't save that weapon. You've got to do something with it. He spots Lau. He gets one. Lau is going to be calling that. He's going to be coming around Quad. Miller misses the shot. And over gaming. Well, there's some people saying that wasn't this a CT sided map. Well, it was before yeah, it, it started. <laughs> uh, it's. The harsh reality right now is, if Overgaming win the pistol, they win the game. That's what most people will be thinking. Yeah, spot on. So, yeah, I mean, they win the pistol, that'll take it to... And all their ecos, or all their anti-ecos go to plan. You're looking at 14-4 there already. And then once you've got that momentum on the CT side of Inferno, it'll just carry through. Reason may get 5 or 6. Proved me wrong before. Hopefully they do it again, just so we have an exciting game on our hands. How the second half does decide to play out. People suggesting that Mouse might throw skins up against Reason. Some people are also saying that uh, it's a best of one, so anything can happen. Yeah, it can, but honestly I can't see happening. I can't oh. see Mouse throwing anything, because it's Star Series. and Maybe, you know, maybe maybe this Reason Gaming team are really strong on a map like Mirage or Vitas 2. I don't know, but then again, they are the same in, in, in the veto. So you'd like to think that they came into this thinking that they're relatively strong on Inferno. But like you said, let's see whether Over Gaming managed to win the pistol round. Because if they do, it might be good night Copenhagen sooner than we thought. Tenski and his comrade in battle making their way towards that. Tenski has dealt a bit of damage onto Flippin, leaving him on 65 points of health. And let's see where the Danes are going to go. They're taking it nice and slow after the bit of sparring at the start of the round. The CTs have got both Mason and Carey on the B-bomb site. And some Bani, Lowy and Flippin, the CTs on the larger A-bomb site. Because they're playing so deep, they've pretty much given Reason Gaming control of both Arch and Quad. And now we need to see whether Over Gaming can hold this one out. It's going to be MSL. He's going to be joined by a teammate. And are they going to try and fake the B-bomb site here? In fact, the, the, the terrorists have pushed the CT spawn. And they're actually all running towards the B-bomb site. Oh, Nila gets the first kill onto Kyrie. Mason's got a lot of work to try and do with a 5-7. Gets the headshot. Has the bomb at his feet before going down to MSL's block. And wow, this pistol round could well and truly go in any team's favour. It's that close. The bomb's gone down. Reason with a small, ever so small man advantage as the chickens get in the way of the over gaming players. Four versus three. Tenski in MSL with a crossfire on the back of the bomb site. Over gaming, the bomb is ticking. They need to speed it up. And are they going to do it? Lowy, here's one person coming towards him. Can't get the kill. It's three versus two. The bomb's ticking. The CTs are getting agitated. Flipping gets the kill onto Tenski. Musambani getting on the score sheet as well. Oh, that's the... Oh, wow. Two one gogs from Kevin. And, well, don't mind if you do. 5-11. And it's going back to what we said before, where we said that the terrorists seem to be winning more and more pistol rounds on this map. Yeah, they do. And... That was a really unconventional pistol round there from Reason. They managed to get make their way round through CT spawn and catch the Spaniards by surprise. Get onto the B site and able to hold it on such low health as well. How Overgaming handle this eco round? I mean, they won an eco in the first half, but MSL is opening things up there. A great headshot with a great angle there onto Kyrie from Banana. Seeing if you can find anything behind car, but there's nothing there. The rest of his teammates make their way towards this A site. There are two in apartments. Now he spots one. Keeps down to 59 health. 
dead. Reason I've heard people on that A site and they're just going to go around to B. And could this have been a slight mistake with the A stack here from Overgaming? They played 1B but he got dropped straight away and the rotation is now coming in. I think Overgaming might just lose this round right here unless they go huge with their pistols. The CZ and the Deagles will be the ones to look at right here. They'll be the ones that will secure the kills but they may just decide to save the pistols and the armor they have. And that's what they're going to go for here. So, they're each roughly saving about 13, 1400, 1800 if you're Lowey. So it's still quite a bit of money in their pocket with the income that they'll get for the end of this round. That'll roll over, in a, look, 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 roll over into the round after and they may be able to pick up an orc from it as well. Smart well, move by the gaming. I don't think I've ever seen a round end where so many players end up surviving. <laughs> I think we only had one death that entire round. But anyways, 11-6, Reason Gaming not too shabby so far, but there's still a lot of steps to climb for them to even contemplate a draw. But hey, we know what some of these players are capable of. We've seen them do it in the past. It's just a matter of whether they can gel together and do it together. Over Gaming have decided to eco yet again, which is a surprising decision. But I do think Musan Bani wants to, wants to save up enough to get his hands on the big green uh, big green cannon. It's Carey in the B-bomb site all by himself. Nikolai and Tensky pushing up mid with uh, Nikolai on the bomb. With the bomb on his back, sorry. Musan Bani spawning one in upper apps. He's going to go aggressive on him. He knows that he wants to get close with that CZ-75. The terrorist spots him first. And as, uh, they have their little little fight in apps. MSL is going to try and toy with the CTs over here on the smaller B. Bombsite is going to peak coils. He spots the head of Carey, but Carey's not going to peak again. Carey going for the intelligent choice, but Reason Gaming have had a complete change of heart here. They're all heading towards this smaller B. Bombsite. Carey in the smoke. If you're going to get one, gets one. That's good stuff from Carey, considering he's on an eco. Musambani now is in library. He's going to get a kill as well. And are we going to see over Gaming put Reason Gaming to shame? by winning this eco round. Only time will tell. It's four versus three. Reason Gaming, they've got the weapons, they've got the bombs down, but also find themselves a man down. They need to play for time now. It's 11-6. Is it going to be 11-7 or are we going to have a surprise 12-6 on the cards? Only time will tell. Lowey with the Deagle. It's going to be Mazen to drop MSL. Lowey with the Deagle headshot. And now they're trying to find Nila, who has a P90. Nila is holding out strong before Mazen drops him. And they'll defuse Hoss. And Overgaming had no right whatsoever to win that round. Yep. Overgaming, you could say, pulled a reason in the first half. Uh, reason, uh, Overgaming won two rounds on the, the first two rounds. And then Reason won the eco. This half, Reason won two rounds, and then Overgaming won on the eco. So it's a complete reverse of the first half here. And both teams can buy up for their first gun round, and Keeve going to be sitting on that AWP. Most likely try and get a pick down mid to start things off. Yep, he's positioned in mid. Not going to find anything just yet. Looks like Reason want to play a little aggressive down Banana, and they'll get one for their troubles, but... Kyrie will drop Nick alive and MSL cleans things up. So Reason do come out of that trade with it. a one-man advantage and a free entry onto this B site. MSL, he's going to smoke off CT, chuck some fire down on Gardens. He didn't like the look of those plants and he doesn't like the look of Musan Bani either. He gets the headshot as the CTs try and retake this site. Even with the AWP, you got to think that overgaming will think about this one and choose to save their guns instead of going into the site with an AWP rifles that's what they're going to be doing here it's going to be 12 7 now still in favor of overgaming but inferno seems to be looking more like a t-sided map right now in this game <laughs> yeah and it's not the first game i think we saw a game a few days ago where where the both teams who were playing against each other ended up getting more rounds as terrorists than they did as counter-terrorists. And it really is interesting how how Counter-Strike evolves and how Inferno is, invo is evolving. Yeah. Uh, of course, some players just have a strong T side or a weaker CT side. Mm. 
but and and then some are just praying strats that maybe counter others but right here it's almost as if Inferno is a T-sided map right here which seems strange to say I mean it's always been CT to even like 60 maybe even 55 percent at times but right now it's swung the other direction as the overgaming of almost four sport this round with Famasis and Musambani having sell for a P250 maybe setting up for an AWP in a later round hoping to win this one as gaming gonna be pushing towards this B site yet again bombs been dropped at the bottom of banana Nikolai is gonna pick it up both Mason and Carey holding the B bomb site and MSL it's not the first time we see him do this does he have any flashes yep he's got two flashes and a smoke so we could very well see him try and fake the B bomb site here if he manages to smoke smoke off CT or smoke in fact Nikolai and Kev are rotating back round so reason I'm pretty sure they're confusing over gaming and they're confusing me as well but not anymore I know exactly where they're going but so does that Musambani he manages to drop Nilla and now MSL and co are gonna run straight through Banana and try to get the kill MSL nails carry in the head before Mazen gets two stunning Famas kills and Kev says anything you can do I can do better after getting the AWP kill leaving it at two versus two now the bomb's been planted Kev has the AWP, he just needs to stand, play cool, calm and collected, he can watch CT and they can let the rifle watch Banana, but they've played this the other way, they've they played it the other way, flipping, hasn't made too much noise, Kev is looking in the wrong spot here, or is he? Flipping's gonna manage to get past, no he's gonna, oh Kev oh. pulls the trigger, it doesn't pay off, Kev finally gets the kill, and how on earth the reason, reason have a better T side than CT side? Fair play to them, fair play to them, and it's going back to what we were talking about earlier. I mean, what do people in chat think? Could Inferno really be becoming a terrorist-sided map? It seems like a really weird trend that's actually happening. And Reason is certainly with that trend here. And overgaming too, unless uh, Reason CT was just that poor that they were only able to get four rounds. Keeve gets the first shot. All he needs to see is an arm of Lowey, and he'll open things up. It is, of course, an eco Grover gaming. And this game, we said in the first half that we hope it gets a bit closer, just so we have a good game to watch. And it certainly got closer here. Only four rounds in it. There was a. Uh, it was about a seven round deficit, I think it was. I think first it half. 11 4, so yeah, yeah, that would have been seven. Seven round deficit, yeah. Maths, uh, maths and CS don't go together. Uh, Keeve got dropped down to 11, but Kyrie's gonna come round and drop Nilla. They'll trade one for one in mid. Flipping, gonna not pick up a gun. He's still got a Deagle. Tensky will make it four versus two, but flipping with the one Deagle on to Tensky. Almost feel like saying Juan Deagle, as they're a Spanish team. Uh, hey ho. Oh, Three members left. Yes. One. <laughs> You're learning. One. <laughs> uh, two versus three. I mean, Overgaming could go for this, but they're going to choose not to and just give the round away. I mean, they started with pistols. They've got two AKs. They've conserved, or well, Flippin's conserved a uh, smoke and a flash, so they're happy to save again. They've been pretty conservative with their saves here. I mean, they haven't risked a lot on this CT side when they've had the option to uh, go and retake a site. But will Sambani have enough for an AWP? No, unless someone drops it for him. But no, they're going to just go with the uh, rifles here, PKs and M4s. How the rest of this round plays out for them. And I think it's worth mentioning that Reason Gaming have had most, and this is sometimes where I wish the game actually had some sort of statistics page that you can view or something. I think Reason Gaming have had most success on the B bomb site and I think they've they yeah. pretty much infiltrated the B bomb site what is it four or five rounds in a row now so I'm not sure if overgaming are looking to change anything around they did eco for two rounds straight though from what I remember but hey ho reason is still hot on fire as Lowell is the first wizard well the first overgaming player to go down Damn it, I can't get used to the fact that they're not wizards anymore Kevin as well getting on the score sheet and reason like a hot knife through butter 
are somehow making their way back into this game. MSL knows he's being pushed. He's falling back. What's he doing? Going down to Mason's AK-47. I think he would have been better off because he wasn't that hardly flashed. He should have just stayed the main calm and get a few kills. Flippin's going to drop Nikolai and it's three versus three when it looked to go in favour of Reason. Over gaming somehow managed to swing it in their favour and now Reason swinging it back in their favour. Oh. Kevin with his second. That's superb orpin. And now Mason is all by himself and he's coming through apps. Little does he know that Kevin is millimetres below him. He's going to push through and let's go and take a look at him if Auto Director's not going to go there. Actually, he knows Kevin's there. That's superb from Mason. Leaving it one versus one. It's AK versus AK. Both of them have full armour. And little does he know that Nilla is actually hiding in that tiny corner. He's going to peek him sooner now than later. And Mason clutches the round. And Reason won round after round after round, Hoss. And finally, over gaming. <laughs> Win a round, 13-9. About time. Yeah, exactly, about time. But Reason, awesome. because they won so many consecutive rounds, they, they can still buy. Yeah, they can still buy even after this round, I'd say, because if you look at Keith, he's sitting on... Okay, no, he's now bought up. He was sitting on 10k, but he's gone full out this round with an AWP, or a big green gun, as you prefer to call it. He's got... He had a nice shot last round. In fact, he got a double kill last round. He'll look to do the same this one, too. Brown can, of course, have seven more rounds in it. Uh, Overgaming looking to make that only maybe four or five that are needed. Yet again, the Danes make their way to this B side. They get the entry come to Mason, but Kyrie is waiting in a passive position, much like Overgaming's T side. And Reason now forced to rotate as the bombs made its way on towards the site of smoked out CT. Overgaming have to come round. Gardens or through Banana. There are two members. Production Gardens. Keeve loses 26 health. Gardens get smoked out, but not before Tenzky gets the frag onto Kyrie. Hear the bomb going down. A great play there from Rusan Bani. Drops the bomb and gets out with his life as well. The bomb is down in the middle of the site. Rusan Bani has an idea where it is. Lowy probably has a slight clue as well. It's three versus three. Neither team looking the best for health. Eve is set up in a nice position here with the AWP. Tenski nice as well to set up with crossfire and there we go. He'll get the headshot onto Lowy. And now Musan Bani, great spot onto Keeve there. Two versus two. Musan Bani on four health. Flipping was the healthy one, but Nilla's having none of it as he gets the shot with the AK. And right now, this will be God mode if Musan Bani does it, but he's not able to. Nilla puts an end to his life, taking it to 13 10. And are overgaming on another eco? Yes, they are. <laughs> and honestly, who would have thought it at 13:10? You look at it, and you see overgaming on the eco. So on paper, it should become 13:11. Could we have a cheeky little comeback on the cards from Reason? Only time will tell, Maybe. I guess. But flipping heck, what a game so far! We asked them early on, didn't we, to give us a good game? And my word, have they given us a decent game? It's going to be Nilla to peak Arch. Deals a bit of damage onto Musambani, who has the the powered CZ-75, or the all-powerful CZ-75 in my opinion, I don't think it's overpowered, I think it's probably just about on par with the Deagle, previous iteration of the game, Q Twitch chat abuse, but anyways, here we go, 13-10, and the teams with AKs, they're trying to keep their distance, they're waiting for over gaming to fall into their trap, but MSL instead falling into Mason's trap, and, and that's what you don't want to do up against the pistols, wait for them to come to you, or, 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 or don't walk into them one by one because we know in CSGO how overpowered all the pistols are and when you come up one versus one, five seven versus AK there's no reason as to why the five seven can't win at all in CSGO but anyways here we go Neil and Nikolai Kevin Tensky preparing for what looks to be some sort of push onto the B bomb site. We've got Mason who's boosted himself on top of the barrels. I think Neil has spotted him. Neil is going to get our first frag. Mason gets his second 5-7 frag of the round before getting a bullet between his eyes from Tenski. The bomb's going to go down in front of the barbecue. Leaving it at 3 versus 3. And can the pistols win up against the terrorists? That's a bit of a fail flash there. A bit of miscommunication perhaps from the Danish team. But there's still plenty of time on the cards for the Spaniards to win this one. They want 14 rounds, but Kevin's not going to let Flippin be a part of the team to save the round. Kevin gets two. He's got two so far this round. And Nikolai, he's going to get on the score sheet as well. 13-11. No surprises, Hoss. Bear in mind, Reason, we're up against an eco side. 
but maybe, just maybe, the comeback is real. Yeah, something I want to note here is that Reason have been on wing with their B bomb side defense. I mean, their smokes have been near to perfection from holding over gaming out. Uh, and it's won them rounds. Also, the fact that Keeve is just top fragging and playing out of his skin right now is crucial for Reason's victory here. But flipping, I'm going to trade 1 1. Miller gets 1, but Nikolai's pushing up this mana and catches Mazon after he went slightly aggressive. Penske spots a uh, Spaniard running down mid, and I don't know what Musambani was uh, doing there, but it paid off as his aggressiveness down to Banana. Now three versus two. Musambani is making his way. He's down Banana here. All three players for overgaming. They have the bomb under control. Smoking out. Flashes out from reason to try and get in there, but right now... Now it's the Spaniards who have to through the smoke. Reason able to pick up the bomb. Two versus three. Eve has his eyes on this banana. Members of Overgaming rotated through spawn, but Tenski now instantly you see them rotating towards the A site and then they see their teammate fall back to the B site they go. Flash is going out. Incendiary going out. That's a nice incendiary there from flipping and he gets the headshot through smoke as well. Two versus one now. 25 seconds to go. I don't think Keeve can do this. Comes onto the site, he was on 5 health. It would have been impossible for him to do. Musambani finishes him off. 14-11. Overgaming two rounds away from victory here. Yeah, and guys, we've got a bit of a network issue here. I've just got to quickly restart the stream. Bear with us, please.